Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. I'm Andy. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Today I want to talk about something that you guys all know that I am obsessed with and love deeply. It is my shimmer. I love a good highlighter. You know, when I was first like really getting into makeup and first kind of like kind of creating the looks that I had started to really like, because um, there was a long time that I was into makeup but I like wasn't great at it. When I first started really creating the look that I liked, there was always something that was missing and when I finally started purchasing highlighters and incorporating them into my routine, I was like, this is it. This is what I've been missing because I love to shine. I love glitter. I don't like all glitter eye looks, but I just love having something about like a naturally shimmery, naturally I say as I have like, like iridescent pink highlight on my face. Um, but a natural glow, if you will. Um, I love that. I love uniquely colored highlighters. I don't shy away from them. I know some people are intimidated by having like a green highlight on your face. I don't. I will embrace it. I will look like poison ivy with my red hair and my green shiny face all damn day. I don't care. So that being said, I really wanted to show you guys some of my favorite brands for highlights and some of the products that I really love from these brands. So. This is the stuff that I have accumulated for you today. It is nice and thick and I will show you all the pretty shimmers inside. But yeah, so I, I have lots of palettes. These are the brands that I really go to for shimmers, I think most of the time, for highlight palettes. Um, I've picked a couple from my collection that show a wide range of brands, show what the brand has to offer, but are also ones that I have not featured before. Some of them were in my makeup bag, some of them I've shown in other videos. I didn't want to really duplicate, I wanted to show you stuff that you haven't seen before. So that's why I've assembled this collection here today. And without further ado, I'm gonna jump right on in. So the first one, honestly, I found out about this brand because of their highlight. Um, they are known for their highlighters and their really, really beautiful iridescent shades. So this is Offer Cosmetics. Um, everybody kind of recognizes Offer. They've changed their packaging a lot when they first started out. Um, I have some of their originals where they were just like the, the plastic top with the black bottom. I think that's how people kind of visually still associate them. But this is what they've changed their packaging to. This is one of their recent ones. I actually picked this up in the last 21 Days of Beauty from Ulta. And that is the shade All of the Lights. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's got a lot of different colors all assembled together. Um, these, so this type of like, this type of product where it has multiple colors for whatever reason really appeals to me. I feel like when you go whoosh and you pick up all the colors, it makes the perfect combination. And so I love blushes that do it. I love highlighters that do it. I love pretty much any, anything that kind of is an all over face look where you have that ability to swoosh it around. On the opposite note, I'm gonna go into one of my other favorite brands to do for highlights. I dropped it, oh no. Oops. Um, but it's Lime Crime. Lime Crime has, I think, six of these little trio palettes for highlighters. I believe I purchased five of them. They were on sale at Ulta, because everything I get pretty much is on sale. Um, but these are two of the ones that I don't use very often, but every time I open them, I'm like, wow, they're just so beautiful. And they are the palettes Unicorn and Fairies. Now, Unicorn is a much more ostentatious, very, very bright, harder to use color scheme, I think, whereas Fairies is a little bit more of a neutral color tone. Obviously, Unicorn is the one on the bottom. Um, it's got like this kind of pinky purple, a nice vibrant green, which I really like because I really do like to have highlights in every shade so that like if I'm doing a green look or if I mean I'm doing a St. Patrick's Day look, something where I really could use like a nice green highlighter, I like having it in my collection. Um, and then it's got a vibrant pink one. Then at top, the top for fairies, I've got like a kind of, uh, I would call like a champagne gold pink color. Then I've got a nice deep purple and a gold color. And I don't know if you guys really can tell how it's so green, but it's like not terrible. It's, it is like, cause you can tell it's green. You can tell it's got the pigment in it. But it really is not, when people say green highlighter, I think they always expect to have like just like this like green sharpie across your face. And that's really not what it is. It's still a neutral color. It's just going to, when it reflects that light, it is going to have a green tint to it. And I think that's so cool and so unique. And that's why I really love it. The next one I'm going to show you guys is the Pure Highlight Palette. 
I know I got it at Ulta. I know I got it on sale. I don't really know like if it's a specific one, if this is their only highlight palette. I don't know. I just, it doesn't have a name. It just is. So this is what it looks like on the front. I've had it for a very long time. And it's just, once again, a very nice, neutral, subtle highlight palette. Just with a lot of very day-to-day -day workable shades. Um, you've got Twinkle, which is like a pinky one. Sultry, which is like, once again, I guess it's champagne gold. Sunset, which is what I would call like a deep orange pink. Uh, gold Rush, which is a gold one. Frostbitten, which is a white gold one. And then Starbright, which is like a very finely light, almost white pink one. Um, and once again, showing it to you guys for the purpose of the palette swatch, I am going to go ahead and do Gold Rush because I think it's the deepest color that they have and I haven't swatched anything like it yet. And I'm going to do this one on the back of my hand up above that first one that I did from Afra. And so that's what it looks like. Just like a really nice deep gold. And I find every time that I use it, I always wind up looking very sun-kissed. Like I have a suntan, even if it's dead of winter, it really does a good job of giving you that kind of deep natural sun-kissed glow. So the next one we're gonna move into is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Palette Illuminatrice. I don't know, Illuminatrice, that's what it looks like. This palette, made waves in the beauty community. I think last year was when it dropped. It is just a really pretty, I'm gonna take this off so it doesn't get any flashback or glare from it, but it's just a really pretty, it's super lightweight and you can tell this is plastic. So it's not like a durable palette. I would not recommend dropping it on the ground, but we all know Wet n Wild is a very affordable brand, but they had this highlight brand, they put it on sale and I had heard such amazing things about how well it worked that I had to try it. And honestly, after I got it in my collection, you can tell it's been used quite a bit, especially some of the more neutral shades. This pink one up here has been used a ton. This peachy one down here has been used a ton. Um, I've used the blue and I've used the green, but really these two kind of do a great job of like being a natural everyday highlighter. And so for the purpose of the swatch, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that one that I've used the most, which is that pink one up at the top. I wound up putting this in my makeup bag and using it so much because it does, I, I'm gonna actually swatch two from this. I'm gonna do this one and I'm gonna do the green one because we did a green one before and I want you to see like just kind of the difference. But that's what those two swatches look like after they're all said and done. The pink one's up top, the green one's down at the bottom. Hopefully you guys can see on the camera how glittery it is. But it really just, I don't know if I might pull it back, if it helps at all. Nikki's saying no. Um, but it just, it's, it goes on, whereas all these other highlighters go on and they're kind of almost like an invisible sheen with glitter in it. These go on with color. So if you're really looking for that color aspect of it, um, and there's, I say that you can still blend them out. It's not like you can't. Um, make them workable and you don't have to have harsh lines or anything with them But they just do so well and when you think about the price point it really is one of the best buys on the market um, I think that they're still available for purchase if they are I highly recommend it. It's still one of my favorites um, I've tried to use it less just so I get some of my other stuff used a little bit more But it really is a great product for the price. All right So the next one I'm going to feature I only have two palettes left and this one honestly is probably I would say when you think highlight brands um this company's name would come to the front of your mind. Um, if I throw out their eyebrow, you're probably going to immediately know which one I'm talking about. Of course, it's Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, and ABH has been putting out some of the best glow kits in the market forever. Um, same thing with their eyebrow products. They just really have a knack for these two venues for some reason. Um, and I don't, I say for some reason, I don't at all wish they would change. I love that they are so good at what they do with these two. But um, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dream Glow Kit. Honestly, this is a really hard one for me to pick because I have, I think I have all of their glow kits. I don't think that there's any that I'm missing in the collection. I really have to give Anastasia Beverly Hills credit where it's due because they really are the ones who have kind of mainstreamed the idea of the glow kit and they've really done just a wonderful idea of making it um, something that everybody uses. Like I, I mean, I think back to like three or four years ago, like glowing, highlighting might have been out there, but it really wasn't as prominent as it is now. And and there is so much of the beauty community that's like, I want to be like, I want to look like frosting. And I agree, like I want to shine like I'm a diamond. I want to be the brightest person in the room. And I want people to be like, wow, she has some like sparkly green cheeks. Why? And I'll be like, because that's who I am as a person. The last one I'm going to show you guys is the BH Cosmetics Black Light Highlight Six Color Palette. I have a neutral one in BH um, Highlight as well, and then 
Um, I think I have a little, like, a couple individual ones, maybe. Maybe I'm thinking of another brand. I don't know. Just compared to the other palettes I've shown you guys, like, that's, those are huge pans. Those are giant pans. I would say, based on my uh, knowledge of measurements, I would say they're probably about two and a half inches in uh, radius. So, yeah, you're looking at a big old, uh, big old pan right there. So, it comes with a yellow, a light yellow, a uh, really deep blue, um, a white, a deep pink, and a light pink. So I haven't shown you guys a blue yet, so I'm going to go ahead and do a blue. I'm going to do it on this hand so you guys can see. Do you guys see that? That's like some like, that's an Elsa blue. That's a Cinderella blue. That's like a deep, deep blue. That's when you're trying to be real blue on your cheeks. And I love that. Now when you blend it out, I mean, obviously it just kind of makes you look a little frosty. But I... I really think, I think BH is kind of, um, I think it's out there and I think people know about it. I think people use it, but I think it's really an underutilized company. I think that they have so many great products, so many great palettes. Those are just a few of the highlight palettes that I've chosen to show you guys today. Um, I have a lot more, uh, I have multiple ones from these companies that I would love to share with you guys, but I just wanted to give you guys a taste of some of the ones that I haven't shown you before on the channel, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, it really helps our page, and if you like us, then please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you're notified every time I post a new video talking about makeup, which is what I love to do, you guys know. As always, I hope you have a fantastic day and you stay girly with a dark twist.